Now we know that Brittany is new to kind of the Wisconsin area. You're super excited to get out and check out some of those park. High Cliff Park is definitely one okay. that you might want to stop by. Yes, I want to check out every single one of those. <laughs> I need that pass ASAP. I have that Minnesota one and I'm like, oh, that's a little too far right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yes, no, I love it. And I love the weather that we've been experiencing too. So I hope some of you got to visit some of those state parks yesterday. Right now, temperatures sitting comfortable at 51 degrees. You can notice we're still in the warmer air mass here. Green Bay, 21 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning, but tight temperature gradient. Look at that, some colder air just off to the west. And yes, that is headed our way. So you need to enjoy what we have right now into those low 40s by the lake shore, low 50s further inland. And of course, those winds still pumping in the warmth. That's why we got so warm yesterday. Winds sustained out of the south up to 22 miles per hour at the moment. We are still seeing gusts into the 30s, 33 in Menominee, 32 mile per hour gusts here into Green Bay. And of course, they're going to stay gusty through this morning and even through the afternoon. They'll start to switch to out of the west, still pulling in some decent air. But then notice when they start to switch out of the northwest by tonight, that's when things are going to start to drop here for us. So mostly cloudy skies out there right now. As we take a look off to the northwest, there is a wintry mix falling. That is along a cold front. Now there's two cold fronts, not one, but two. Of course, there's got to be two headed our way. Now the first one's going to bring us a chance for some precipitation. The next one is bringing us the colder air. So we are going to stay mostly cloudy here today. A few light sprinkles possible into the north was this morning and then more this afternoon. We're looking at some light scattered drizzle here. Of course, no heavy downpour whatsoever. You don't really even need the umbrella for that, but just be aware that it could happen. And of course, there's that cold air blasting in behind that system and that's going to be here with us tonight and through tomorrow as well. So we are going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies. We could see a few flurries early in the morning into the north woods. No accumulation from that, but as we have that cold air, it's because of this high pressure too. It's helping bring that coldness down our way. We are going to see some sunshine later on in this week. So today high temperatures hitting those low to mid 50s today, helping pretty steady. And then to tonight we are going to fall back below freezing into the upper 20s. Then tomorrow we're only reaching highs of those low 30s by the Northwoods to the upper 30s here into the Fox Valley. But look at that sunshine as we head through the rest of the week. There's plenty to be had. We'll slowly rebound from those 30s into the 40s as we go into Thursday. And then of course 50s by Friday and we're looking at three days now into those 60s as we push into the holiday weekend there. A little bit of cloud cover, though, <laughs> on Sunday as that bunny hops around. It's so. <laughs> so cute. I, um, I was going to say, so if you want to take a walk today, it's going to be warmer but windier. Yep, exactly. Okay. I'd oh. still enjoy it, though. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Brittany. Up next, another